Have you noticed that we live in a hookup culture? Sexual liberation has taken advantage of the internet to facilitate sexual license, exemplified by the hookup culture where websites are bound for every type of sexual relationship, not to mention TV ads which use such slogans as life is short, have an affair, or endless newspaper ads of singles searching for a good time. The concept of liberty has become corrupted to mean that we can do anything we want, so long as the relationship is between consenting adults, assuming that no harm is done, and no one complains. The first casualty in this discussion is truth and the false assumption that no harm is done. For a start, the harm to an individual's soul is immeasurable when relationships are reduced into a brief impersonal encounter or conquest. This assumes, of course, that you believe that there is such thing as a soul, which is the totality of those parts in us designed for intimate relationship with each other and with God. Instead of something that adds depth and quality to human experience, hookups create a demand that can never be satisfied at great risk to the individuals involved and to society as a whole. And speaking of great risk, the porn industry continues the boom, which according to Wikipedia, brings in more revenue than Netflix, Google, eBay, Yahoo, Amazon, Microsoft and Apple combined. The lie that porn is good is reinforced by a selfish, childish attitude expressed as, I am entitled to my pleasure. Now, there's nothing wrong with a little fun and pleasure, right? Isn't it harmless self-indulgence? Well, just when porn seems to be becoming acceptable in the mainstream of society, there are now many professionals who see the correlation between porn and sexual abuse and violence. It continues to leave a trail of brokenness sickness, disease, abortion, broken hearts, broken bodies and broken souls. It's time to ask yourself, has my use of porn brought me anything that I would claim to be good? Or has it caused me to retreat further into cycles of self-loathing and despair? In all of this, what are we risking? Arguably, the greater risk is that people who destroy the possibility of a loving family will never know of the pleasure and fulfilment that they could experience as a parent or a grandparent of an intact family, an effect of which resounds for generations. Time to make a change?